All right, welcome back, everybody. This is GTM. Uh, in this video tutorial, we're going to be uh, go we're going to be going ahead and continuing on working with our P51. So we're going to actually set up our reference images onto some geometry, so we can basically uh, have a guideline for modeling. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open up Photoshop really quick. Uh, as you can see, this was the image that we had uh, worked with, and we had placed our guidelines and cut them out. And then here were the separate images afterwards that we saved that as JPEGs. Now, the only thing different is this image right here. Notice the plane is at a 90 degree angle. Um, as to where this one, it's kind of, you know, as if the plane were parked and it's sitting at a 45. So what I basically did was took my marquee tool here and just hit Control T to resize it. But all I did was actually rotate it slightly to 90 degrees and then you know placed it on the guideline there and then of course I came back and you know filled this in gray I mean I guess you can actually just create a new layer and then within that under that layer I just took the same gray color and just uh, filled it in and then saved it out alright so we're gonna take these images right here and put them in 3D Max. So I'm going to go ahead and launch up 3D Max. All right, as you can see here, we got our blank interface. Now the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and lay down a box. And the reason I'm using a box is just because we want to be able to see the reference image on both sides. And I'm going to make it a really thin box. And I'm going to hit F4 so you can see. All right, I'm going to turn off my grid, by the way. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and um, hit my M key. And as you can see, here's our material editor. I'm going to take the first shader here, or you know any shader you know within our material editor. But I'm going to take any. You, know, you can take any one of these. So I'm going to actually just take the first one here. All right, I'm going to go right to my diffuse slot right here. So I'm going to throw that map in there or that texture, which is basically the image of our plane. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. I'm going to go to our bitmap. Alright, so let's go ahead and find our image here. And we have our Mustang images. So I'm going to go grab my top one right here. I'm going to open that up. And if I double click here, you can see we have the plane. If I hold this down, you can see it in box form here. Alright, now what I in order to drag this on to our object which is our green box here I'm gonna go ahead and go to the parent level notice if I mouse over it says parent level you gotta make sure that's grayed out and then I'm gonna go ahead and drag that image from there at the parent level right onto our box I'm gonna close this out notice we do not see it on the box so you have to hit show maps show standard maps and viewport and when you do that that turns it on all right, so I'm going to go ahead and close this off. And the next thing, is it's, it's smart to go ahead and um, let's click here and change this right here where it says wireframe to smooth highlights. And I'm going to go ahead and just turn off my grid there. All right, so it looks like we got our plane laid down. Now, technically, we probably go a little wider, so I'm going to scale it out a bit. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, the next step is... I'm going to go ahead and um, take that same box. I'm going to go Alt W so you can see it. I'm going to turn on my increments here, angle, snap, toggle. So when I actually take my rotate tool, hold down shift to duplicate this, I do it in 90 degree angles. And the idea of this is we want the plane. Oops, let me go. Let me go 90 degree angle not 95 there goes 90 there we go oops I forgot to duplicate it hold down shift there we go alright so because we want the nose to match up alright the next step is we're gonna go ahead and throw another image onto the side profile here so I'm gonna go back to my M key alright I'm gonna take another shader and if you want you can switch this to box mode so we can see it better and I'm going to go ahead and, uh, here I'll double click it. And I'm going to go to my diffuse slot right here where it says none. Then bitmap. And we are going to look for our side, P51. 
P51 side. I'm going to open that up. And then we're going to go to parent level. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And I'm going to drag that right onto here. And then show maps and viewport. All right, notice this one is at a different angle. So, I mean, one thing we can do is actually just grab our rotate tool. And then, you know, we can actually rotate it 90 degrees. But here's the thing. The front of the plane on the top is over here where the nose is. This one's reversed. So you would assume that you can just take this, flip it this way, but notice our plane stays on that side. So what we got to do is uh, you use the UV map coordinate. So I'm going to click on this plane, go to my modify, drop down list, and I'm looking for UV map, UV W map. Once I hit that, you notice we have a UV mapping on our stack. I can drop down to the gizmo, and we can actually rotate that or whatnot. Uh, notice this little handle right up here it indicates that's the top of the map. So this is exactly what we want right here. So once you have it mapped the direction, feel free to collapse it. So I'm just going to collapse two, and then I'm going to adjust this, you know, image here. So I'm going to go to my, I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go to Alt W right here, and then I want to turn this on so I can see what's going on. So I'm going to go into my left view, smooth. And then, of course, we can have edge faces on if we'd like. And then I'm going to turn off my grid by hitting G. And, of course, this is going to the left side, so I'm going to actually switch this to the right side. All right, now I'm going to take this. Since it's the mesh, we can convert it to a poly. Either or, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to grab the vertexes here and highlight right there. And then take my move tool and just kind of scale that up a bit there we go that looks pretty good now our goal is to match the nose the nose here so I can actually take this image now and just bring it down and see the goal is we want to match this nose to that nose so a couple things we can do, we can actually either stretch the image out or if you want, we can actually throw another UV map on there. And we have a planer, let's make sure we have that selected. So I'll go element, UV map, and then we can probably take this gizmo and maybe you know, we can probably resize it slightly. We can scale the UV map on there. And then I'm just going to kind of adjust it. We can do it about, you know, we can go that route. So there we go. Now it fits. Or you can kind of resize the geometry. But in this case, I want to resize the image that, to fit within our box because I want everything to kind of stay uniform. So I'll go ahead and um, close that out. That looks pretty good. So now if I actually grab this image here and let me resize my pivot or reset my pivot. My pivot's down there. So I'm going to hit my hierarchy, adjust pivot point, center it back up to the image, and turn it off. All right, so there we go. And now our nose matches our nose here and our tail matches our tail back there. So this is exactly what you want. And then as you can see, our wings match up. All right. Now the next step is to do the front of the plane. All right. So let's go ahead and um, build the front or, you know, lay down our reference image for the front of the plane. I'm going to hit Alt W. All right. So from here, you know, if it helps, we can kind of even these up in the guidelines right here. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and lay down another box. Now, a couple of things we can do. We can actually just take one of these planes right here. Take our rotate tool. And remember, we have our increments on, so I'm going to hold down shift and just duplicate that this way. 90, let's see, 90... 90 degrees. Well, that was a little tough for some reason. Alright, I'm going to hit copy. 
Now from here though, I'm gonna make sure that our plane matches, you know, the size of our, or you know, our box I should say, matches the size of the rest of our reference image. So I'm gonna kind of scoot that over slightly. All right, and then I'd possibly reset that pivot. So I'm actually gonna come here now because we're seeing our wire. I'm gonna turn off my grid. And if it helps, I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to change these black line, or these green lines. Notice it's green there, so I'm going to change it to black. All right, so now we're going to turn on our smooth and the highlights, and then I'm going to hit right-click again and just show our edges, or it's F4 for your edges. All right, so now we have to put the the front image on there. So I'm going to go ahead and go to M. I hit Alt W by the way. All right, so we gotta put the front image on here. Notice we have the side on there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab another shader, diffuse slot, bitmap, and we're gonna get our front. I'm gonna open that up. You know, if you want to double click and then show this in box form, that's fine. Parent level. I'm gonna close that out, and then I'm gonna go ahead and drag that right onto here and then turn on show maps and viewport. All right, so now we have our front of our plane. All right, now the goal is to match up everything. So based off our front, let's raise it up and see if our wing sits a little bit bigger. So I'm actually gonna throw a UV map on this. So I'm grabbing the box that has the front image on it. Drop down list. UV map and that should automatically fit it on there that looks fine all right so I'm gonna go ahead and um, collapse it on there now what we got to do is kind of fit this right and scale it up properly so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually um, I'm gonna take my vertexes here I'm gonna grab these and raise it up a bit because I don't want the plane to look like it's uh, you know skewed that looks about right right there all right so now I'm going to take this go to my perspective here and let's go ahead and even this out a bit and let's see how much we can actually line this plane up properly now one thing would help with uh, as you can see it looks like our wingspan the wingspan if I tuck that in looks like it matches our wings so that's good all right so um, I'm gonna go ahead and hide the top layer just so I can match this layer with this one so as you can see we have the top of the canopy so I'm going to kind of match that up with the top of the canopy here and let's go ahead and line that up so it looks like there we go all right and another thing is at least that's lined up but now look where the feet uh, the air duct is and where our air duct is over here so Technically, we probably have to make this longer, so I'm going to actually grab these and bring them back down just so I can match. All right, I'm turning that off. Backing this up a bit. So this is where we're going to have to tweak things out. So I'm going to grab the tops of these verts. Notice I highlighted through. And then I'm going to raise that up a bit. I would go back down, grab these, slide them down. All right, as you can see, we're starting to match the top of the canopy to the fuselage. And as we go, this is almost slightly matching. And then our nose, we have to match our nose a bit. So I might grab these vertexes. Yeah, usually the front one's pretty hard because I don't know if the front really matches that much all right so we got our nose to nose there but looks you know looks like our propellers aren't matching too much that's right sometimes you have to take either or all right so we're gonna scale that back a little bit uh, one thing we might have to do is what we might have to do uh, eventually is you know scale some of these images up 
uh, on all sides. So this might take a bit. I'm going to go ahead and set this up a little. All right. <clears throat> As you can see, we got our um, our geometry, our references on our geometry, and they somewhat match now. So we got our canopy to our fuselage. Our fuselage is all somewhat meet right there. That's about as close as we're going to get it. As you can see, wingtip to wingtip kind of matches. All right. And, of course, our difficult part was our nose to nose. So well, let me raise that up. This, you got to take either or. We're slightly off a little bit based off the reference, but that's fine. I'm taking canopy to canopy, or canopy to uh, fuselage. That's probably our best bet. All right, so the last step I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take these boxes here, and I'm actually going to take my scale tool and just scale them in on the y-axis because I want to flatten them down just like planes almost. And then I'll do this one. I'll just flatten it in. There we go. Make it really thin. And then this one as well. Flatten it down. That way we're just a little thinner. All right. And if you have a good graphics card, hopefully this doesn't like you know start to try you know where you see that weird black uh, mesh going through each other. All right. So this looks pretty good. All right, so that's how we basically, um, you know, get our uh, references all set up. And as, you, like I said, as you can see, everything's starting to match up somewhat. And you're going to be using these planes, dropping in and out, back and forth as we're modeling. And you'll see them play a factor as we go along with the tutorial. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Um, like I said. Uh, if you want to continue this plane, uh, feel free to step on or, you know, click on to the next video if you'd like. Um, and hopefully you'll learn some new tricks and techniques. All right, I'll see you in, a, I'll see you in the next video.